I bet by the end of this video, you will become a pro at Ranked Arena in Apex Legends. Gang, 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 gang. Them bullets rain if my men fall down. Welcome to Vicious Gaming Nation where I cover all the latest gaming info and in today's video I'm going to be covering 5 tips to make you a pro in ranked arenas. So first off, we're going to start with confidence. Confidence is a big part of winning games. It allows you to make less mistakes and be more coordinated during gunfights with or without your team. Having confidence can really boost your reliability to your team. When they're in a sticky situation, they can count on you because you got confidence they can count on you to make the clutch and win the game next is teamwork teamwork is a big part as well to win the games because if you have a team and they're not working together and y'all going all the way across the map going each which way okay it's just not gonna work y'all all gonna get picked off one by one okay y'all need to stick together it's a team-based game always remember that you need to fight as a team and think of different strategies that you can use to take out the other team or incoming players also please share your heals i see this all the time every time i play with randoms they don't ever want to share the shields they want to go to the crate and take all the shields and the med kits and all the all the phoenix kits and they don't come back and share none of them with you bruh if you see that your teammates low then drop them some shields man if you and your teammate got shields that's better than just one person having shields and got to fight because that person is very vulnerable if he ain't got shields Anybody can easily just one shot them with a sniper. You need to help your partners in every which way possible. So, like they say in kindergarten, share and care. So, each round of arena, you get a certain amount of money depending on your kills. If you died real quick, then obviously you get less money. But always remember to manage it well because with that money, you want to make sure that you can branch it off to a lot of things. Make sure you get your value for your money pretty much. Like me, I like to get. A primary weapon and then make sure I have some heals on top of that with different characters you might want to buy more tacticals or like you can have less heals like if you're playing lifeline then obviously you don't need that many heals when it comes to health because you can mainly use the drone and then to focus more on shields and upgrading your weapon for a aggressive legend like octane I would advise you to definitely get some shield bats and make sure your weapon is upgraded at least one or in some situations you don't want to upgrade it but don't just go around maxing out your weapon and not having any heals to help you out because then if you get shot and your shields are broken what are you going to do then you ain't got no heal make sure you manage your money well and let's get into the next tip tip number four what legends you should use now there's a lot of characters that are very useful to, to your team in arenas and there's a lot of characters that are not useful now me personally um, I think each team should always have a recon character Intel is very important in any game mode BR and arenas when you know where enemies at or you know like there's a certain amount of health or anything like if you're using Seer then that that definitely gives you an advantage over the other team and having that knowledge will help you to be able to take out squads with ease uh, i think you should also run a healer on your team like lifeline because lifeline is very good for, for healing your squad and picking up teammates in any situation because he has tap res so that's going to be very great to have so she can keep fighting while you're getting back up um, and finally, I think another great match with that would be aggressive character like Bangalore, Horizon, Octane, or Revenant. All of these characters are very good for DPS and high damage, which would allow your support and healers to easily be able to pick off enemies. Or you can run a defender like Rampart, which you can use her walls very efficiently on all arena maps currently to pick off enemies. And that alone can allow you and your teammates to push the other team and get some easy free kills adapt to opponent's playstyle if your opponents are playing with a lot of snipers or playing very passive and distant then you want to play very aggressive with smgs like the r99 or the volt smg or prowler they're they're all very aggressive smgs that are very useful against snipers and if your opponents are playing very aggressive pushing with smgs and ARs then you can run LMGs like the Rampage, L-Star and Devotion they're all very good for uh, enemies that are rushing you 
they're very like defensive weapons so they they perform the best when people are rushing you and so there, there's just two ways right there that you can really outsmart your opponents and take uh, take home that win if you made it this far in the video you're in luck because i have two bonus tips for you tip number six play circle in arena the circle is very important in arena because if you go to the circle before the other team and they have to run to the circle they're running towards you which means you can get easy uh, damage on them you can easily pick them off and you're able to set up before the other team set up your shields if you're running rampart or if you're running watson you can set up her electric fences or caustic you can set up his his gas traps like you you get a lot of freedom to set your weapons up your abilities which gives you an ultimate advantage on the other team because they're not even set up yet they actually have to run towards you so always remember to play the circle i see a lot of people do not go to the circle especially playing with randoms so please don't be that guy tip number seven make sure to get the resource bins and those they are very helpful for your team to earn quick cash that can be used towards heals or weapon upgrade the resource bins give you two shield batteries one phoenix kit and one med kit while resource nodes give you 200 cash so make sure you grab them as much as possible but be careful because teams will also be going for them as well well that's all the tips i have for you guys in today's video if you found this video helpful make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow me on all my social medias linked down below in the description box and then watch the two videos on screen now